Sync 3 navigation updates. A lot of people have asked about Sync 3 navigation updates and if it's something they can do themselves. So recently when I did one, I took some video and some photos so you could follow along. Navigation updates for Sync 3 are done with a USB flash drive. You can order a flash drive that's preloaded and ready to go directly from Ford, or you can use your own flash drive and download the information onto it. Now I believe it's about $40 more to order a preloaded flash drive, and then you've also got to wait on shipping time. If you're comfortable with computers and loading files onto a flash drive, you're probably better off to do the download. The exact website that you download these from or order it from has changed a few times. So probably the easiest way to do this is to go to help.ford.com and then type navigation update into the search bar. That should give you options for whichever way you choose to do it. Regardless of which way you're going to choose to do it, you're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need the vehicle identification number and you're also going to need the sync serial number or ESN. So to get that information, we're going to click on the apps icon at the bottom of the screen. That'll take us to this page. We'll click on general. And then under general settings, we're going to scroll down and click on the about sync. So something we need to look at while we're on this page is the software version. On this one is 3.0. If your software version isn't at least 3.0, you're going to have to do a sync update before you can update the navigation. While you're here, I would also recommend taking note of the navigation map version. You're going to want that information to make sure you're purchasing a newer version or a higher number. And you're also going to want that after you do the update. I usually like to come back to the screen just to make sure the update did take and it is showing the new number there. The two numbers that we needed to purchase our navigation update was the vehicle identification number or the VIN number. And that is a 17 character long string that can be found right here on the page. And the second thing we needed was the ESN number for the sync system. And that can be found at the bottom of the page. Now, I did blur out the last eight characters of the VIN number on this screen. And I also blurred out the ESN number. The ESN number will start with a Y or a V and can be found right here at the bottom of the page where it's shown. Both of these numbers are required though to purchase a navigation update for a vehicle. Now once we have a flash drive for our navigation update, we're going to want the vehicle with the engine running in a well ventilated area so exhaust doesn't build up. And we're going to insert that flash drive into the USB port. Now if you purchase the preloaded flash drive from Ford, you should notice it has this little light on it that's flashing indicating that it's reading data off of the flash drive. So the sync system should reboot once. And then you should get this message, which makes absolutely no sense. It says installation complete. Just ignore it and continue on with the screen prompts. Next, you should get a message that says software update detected. Now you want to click on the next button. To that, you should see a message that says software update detected. And you're going to want to click yes, that you want to proceed. Now within a minute or two, you should have updating system software pop up at the top of the screen. And at this point, you may as well walk away from the vehicle and go do something else. It's going to take about 45 minutes. If you get a message that says installation in progress, just go ahead and click the close button. At this point, I usually just walk away from the vehicle and go find something else to do because uh, it's going to take 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, you can check the flash drive once in a while, make sure it's flashing, and then it still says updating system software at the top of the screen. Now, unfortunately, what happens all too often is when I finally get back to the car to check on it, uh, it's went ahead and finished updating and the engine is shut down. Now, if this happens, you just go ahead and hit the start button and restart it. If it finished updating like it did in this case, it'll tell you the installation's complete. And if it didn't, well, then you get to start all over. So after restarting the car's saying installation complete, remove the USB drive. We're going to go ahead and remove the USB drive and we're going to go ahead and shut the car down and open the door so that the sync system actually shuts down. So after we've restarted the car and the sync system is booted back up, we're going to go back to general. Then we're going to scroll down and go to about sync. And there it is, navigation maps version 1.19. It updated. And that's all there is to it. If you found this helpful, please click the like button down below, share it on Facebook or Twitter, and as always, have a great week.